Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at doctors reveal people who faked it to see out. Let's just get right into the video. 30 year old woman came to the ED with such excruciating belly pain. Paralyzed? Oh god, it hurts when you press there. Must have oxycodone now. ED doctor said if she can get out of the ED bed and do 20 jumping jacks, we can give her the oxy. She did 20 jumping jacks and then got kicked out of the ED. <laughs> I'm in so much pain, but yeah, I'll do these 20 jumping jacks for you to give me this. <laughs> what is this? What? My mom's an ER nurse and she said once some crazy lady came in and complained that she had the whooping cough. And whenever she coughed, she followed it with a loud whoop. Huh? <laughs> I have a whooping cough. <laughs> Whoop! My cousin got glasses. Her seven year old little sister also wanted glasses because she thought it was so cool to wear them. So she started telling her teachers she couldn't read what was on the chalkboard and she'd squint at home and go incredibly close to the TV to watch things because she said she couldn't see things clearly. Her parents got worried and took her to the doctor. She read everything wrong on the vision test. Everyone seemed convinced that she needed glasses, but the doctor was a little concerned because the test indicated she needed really thick glasses, and usually that wasn't the case unless there was a family history of vision issues. Her parents both had 20-20 vision and her sister only had astigmatism. They all realized she was faking it. So the doctor told her parents in front of her that she needs some pretty intense eye surgery so she'd be able to see without glasses. They even wheeled in a machine to make it convincing to say they could do the surgery right then and there. She freaked out, confessed to faking it all and started to cry. She got grounded for a while. She wanted glasses? Oh, she just wanted to wear glasses, right? I mean, if she only liked the look of wearing glasses, she could have just asked her parents to get like fake ones, you know, like the ones without lenses or something. Like the ones without prescription. Because if you wear the wrong prescription, that's so bad for your eyes. I do feel like there was a phase in high school where everyone wanted to wear glasses. Like, it was like the Tumblr look or something. Anyone remember those days? I already needed glasses, but like my glasses didn't look good. <laughs> so I loved wearing the 3D glasses that you got from movies, you know? Like, it was so cute and everything. Well, like, I thought they looked cute. And my prescription glasses just made me look <laughs> nerdy. I just thought I looked so bad with my prescription glasses. So instead of wearing my prescription glasses, I wore those 3D movies glasses with the lens poked out. I have my glasses right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so weird. I haven't put on glasses to read. Oh, it's so much clearer. <laughs> You know when teachers used to do that? They would be like... <laughs> Let's just think that never happened. I have so many different other styles of glasses because, you know, I wanted them to look at least kind of cute if I were to wear them. <laughs> Remember the big glasses that I had? Had a patient when I was an intern feigning blindness. She would constantly be playing on her smartphone only furiously trying to hide it when someone from the care team came into her room. The best was when my attending one day strolled past her room and threw his hand up in a highly exaggerated hello wave. She started to throw her arm up too but caught herself halfway through, then threw her hand back into her lap and pretended to be staring off into nothing. Why would she pretend that? Like, is there a reason why she's doing that? Like, does she get anything from it? Why would you pretend to be blind? When I was a kid, I learned I could fake sick and get out of school. So one to two days a week, I would get a migraine and hold my head and complain and I would get to go home. Eventually, my parents took me to a neurologist who said, maybe you just don't let him eat chocolate and sugar. I admitted to faking and was grounded for a long time. <sighs> oh my gosh, I used to get so many headaches as a kid as well but i never knew why like thank gosh it's gone kinda like i don't get it as often anymore but when i was in like year five like 10 years old 
I would get them so often. Honestly, I think the reason is because I was around too many people. <laughs> That stressed me out, man. Because the moment I started staying home a lot more, the headaches disappeared. <laughs> like when I went to uni, I would get them every single time I went out to uni. Like, what the heck? But then, whenever I stayed home, they would never be there. Like, what? Is it because I don't like going outside or something? Like, is it because I stay home too much that going outside gives me a headache? I don't know. It's weird. When I was a kid, I would plan my sick days way ahead of time. Had an old thermos that I would pour leftover milk, meat, whatever. Leave it on the windowsill in my bedroom, just letting it fester for a month. Of course, the thermos was closed, so no smells escaped. I set an alarm for the middle of the night, dumped the contents of the thermos on my rug, and ran in to tell my dad I was throwing up and so sick. However, this thermos monstrosity filled the entire condo up with horrible smells and both me and my dad ended up puking into the tub at the same time every time we tried to clean up the rug. He had to take the day off work too. Needless to say, I never put that again. They tried to fake their puke. I mean, you know, you could just fake your poop. Poop. <laughs> you could just fake your poop by using oatmeal or something, you know, oatmeal, yogurt. Mustard, I think that does the job. Mustard, because it's yellowy. Oh my gosh, these kids. I think the only bad thing I did as a kid, it's not even bad, it's just something that my parents wouldn't let me do was always eat junk food. Like, I would steal the junk food from the cupboard and just eat it in my room. Like, we can't eat ramen every single day. I'm talking about instant noodles. We couldn't eat instant noodles every single day because it was unhealthy right so we could only eat it once a week but like I remember eating it every single day <laughs> before like I would eat it and then I would hide the cup under my bed and then I remember my mom being like oh you want some instant noodles today but I already ate the instant noodles so I was like oh, no it's okay <laughs> that was when I felt bad because you know when someone offers you something but then you already took it and ate it without them knowing but then they're offering it to you without knowing that you already ate it so you kind of feel bad yeah that's the only thing I feel bad about as a kid I was a good kid okay guy calls in sick for around eight days says on the phone he is really sick comes back to work the next week tanned this dude hands a medical slip to the manager written in Spanish on the slip there is an official seal from some random Cuban clinic. Guy walks over to me with a grin on his face saying, yeah, I'm probably fired. He was fired. I love how he just walked in with like the evidence, you know, <laughs> on himself because he was tanned. He just came in fresh with the evidence. Interesting. Not a doctor, but a nurse. Once had a patient having a seizure. The other ER nurse and I knew she was faking it. He said as much. She suddenly stopped seizing miraculously, looked straight at him and yelled, shut up fat boy. He and I laughed so hard. He, the other nurse, was referred to as such fat boy for a few months after that. At least she wasn't having a seizure. Why would you fake something like this though? Like, I just feel like these are so risky. <laughs> Why would you fake having a seizure? Like, what if you really do? have a seizure like what if they don't save you because they know you're faking it like they think you're faking it are you serious my mum was an emergency room nurse years ago they brought a prisoner from the local pen in who seemed to be unconscious the guards were suspicious that he was faking it they checked his vitals and everything seemed to be okay the attending doctor tried poking him in the foot with something pointy nothing then he got an idea they took a rubber hose and inserted it in the back of his throat as if they were intubating him. That did the trick. He sat up very quickly coughing and gagging. Oh, that sounds terrible, man. A tube through your throat. Ugh. I saw a father and his son wink when I was turning to face them again when I was done writing a note to stay home from school. That's pretty much it. Faking it is a hard call to make in general. 
ガチャさんガチャ。<笑> Parenting. His dad totally wanted him to fake it. Isn't that weird? Like, I thought parents would normally be like, you better go to school. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.